we call this a four-man workshop and I think the I think the focus is in four-man from the point of view of the student the student thinks that four-man is where it's at that that's the high level and therefore they want to be trained well at that high level whatever it is i don't actually feel that way I, personally i feel this isn't four man this is umpiring it's umpiring 101 it's umpiring 201 it's umpiring our instructors are mixing with the major league umpires and the professional umpires in a partnership also so that they are trading ideas all the time. We've never done a camp like this where the high level instructors that are college umpires or, or used to be pro umpires, now college umpires, mixing with high level professional umpires and the trading of ideas that we see here is unique. Umpires have to learn the strike zone, and we call it the new strike zone because it's different than it used to be. But actually, how do we teach them how to do this? The only way to learn it is to practice it with immediate feedback. What the laser does is the laser shows them immediately whether they missed the pitch by that much or they got it. It tells them immediately. What then happens is they're able to change their strike zone based on the accuracy of the laser measurement and whether the laser is going off green or the laser is going off red. And they then learn where that outside pitch is, where that high pitch is that they're having trouble with. They learn that because five or six pitches on the outside that they guess on that the laser then corrects them on, allows them to go to a game tomorrow and get it accurate, get it right. That's incredible. The ability to be able to teach umpires who thought that their pitches were perfect for the last 15 years are now finding out that they weren't. We call that the calibration of their strike zone. I think one of the things that makes umpire training really important that we figure out how we make our people better it's about the physical activity of umpiring that we want to get to in other words what are your good distances what are your acceptable movements how do you get onto the perfect position for a play we might not always get to that perfect position for the play but if we can get the best possible position, then we raise our odds of getting that call right. Let's raise that chance. How do we do that? Footwork, focus, position, movement, being still at the critical moments, all those things, and that just can't be taught in a classroom.